In this video, we are going to discuss about image compression using k-means clustering of unsupervised learning. K-means, as we have already discussed, it is an algorithm to implement the unsupervised machine learning where we group the similar object. So that is k-means algorithm in short and we have discussed in our previous videos also. Now the question arises that what is the need of image compression? Why do we need image compression? Nowadays huge amount of data in form of images and producing lots of images in our day-to-day -day life also. People upload lots of images on social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and other cloud storage. Now how can we deal with so much amount of image without you know it without distorting the image we want to store the image data as efficiently as possible to maximize image quality and minimize the storage space and processing resources and ideas came in extents of image compression so to do all those things we need image compression formally image compression is a type of data compression applied to digital images to reduce the cost of storage and information that means here what it does is reduce the cost of storage and information transmission So that is done with the help of image compression. This particular technique it is done. For example, this is the original image we have and after reducing, this is the reduced image which we will produce. And that code we will look onto. But now let us implement and how can we do that? For that we simply use the k-means clustering algorithm and what it will do, it will group the similar color into k clusters. Now what this clay clusters are going to do and they can be different using the color components which we have that is R, G, B. These are the color components which are there so they will group it according to that in K clusters. So that grouping will be done. So firstly what we need to do we need to import some necessary libraries and then we have to read and plot an image with the help of matplotlib library. So let us do that now. So here you can see that I have written the code for importing a few libraries and uh, that's okay. Now what I have done is here I have read the image with the help of matplotlib plt, the variable which we declared here as and then we have used the im read that is image read and here you can see if you're using Google Colab then you can simply give the path from here. You have to upload the image here which you have downloaded and then you have to copy the path and paste this path over here. So that is very simple or if you are using any other platform such as Jupyter Notebook there also you can upload the image and use it. So then I have used image.show, plt.access off that means the grid will be off and then plt.show. So here you can see that that this is the image of the peacock which we are using. This is the image and now this image will be reduced. Now firstly if I want to check the type of this image that what is the type of this image then the type of this image is actually numpy nd array why it is numpy nd array because you can see here this is an image but computer doesn't read this image as an image form okay so it reads in the form of array all the color which are there all the pixels which are there it reads in that form for example we can say here like that let's say that this is a particular image which is there okay and now what it has it it has certain pixels that comprises the image altogether so computer actually read these pixels and joins them to form a particular image so these pixels are actually in a form of array or we can say in form of numpy array Okay, so this concept is clear. Next, see what we have done. Next, I want to print the image shape and the size of the image. So for that, I have written print img.shape and img.size. So let us see what it returns us. So in shape, it returns us 176, 287 and 3. So actually, this image contains of 176 rows, 
287 columns and channels as 3 in the image or we can say the RGB component so all images has three component only RGB and further the curlers are reduced with the help of those components only now we can check for grayscale image also then our channel will be only one and here you can see that this particular figure which is there this is actually the multiplication image size means total number of pixel that is row into columns into channel that is a multiplication of the upper output next what we are going to do is we're going to reshape image and normalize the image pixel values that means we're going to reshape a particular image and then convert it so that we can use this for our array and further learning with our machine why we need to do that because obviously in a form of array then it could be 2d so we have to convert from 3d image to 2d combining the rows and columns now image contains only two parameters that is number of pixel and the number of channels and to normalize the image pixel value what we have done we've divide the image size by 255 here you can see that i have done that to normalize it into this form we have divided it with the help of 255 and 255 why because that is the maximum intensity value of rgb it starts from zero and range ups to 255 so here you can see that now it is having only these columns have been width and height i have joined together and d is left over so here you can see that width and height have joined combinedly and these three is actually the color component which is there next what we need to do we are extracting a small subset now this is the whole particular image okay now i cannot operate on all the pixels which are there in this particular image so what i do i will take this particular value of the image or let's say i'll take these particular pixels and then i'll operate on these pixels only and when operating then i will apply that all together in this whole image so that's what I'm going to do. I'm extracting the small subset of image for training the model and then I will predict for the whole image. So let's see how we have done that. So here you can see from SQLR utils we have imported shuffle and then image array sample we have taken and that is shuffle function we have used and here you can see that first thousand pixels we have taken from the image and then we have printed the sample size which is there now as i execute this particular set hell you can see that it returns me 3000 why because there are three color components which are there rgb and when first 100 pixels are taken then it gets multiplied so that sums up to 3000 next what we are going to do k means for the creation of model and training we have seen our previous example also we simply write like this k means and we have to give the number of clusters so if you're giving i'm here giving six cluster you can give any cluster according to your own wish so here i'm creating a particular model so here you can see that the model is created next what we're going to do is we're going to predict labels for the complete image that how many labels are actually there for the image and what are the labels given so for that we simply use label equals to kmean dot predict image array and then we print the labels so these are the labels what is 0 1 2 3 4 and what are it symbolizing it is symbolizing here like this for example all the image have been now and we have given that clusters will be 6 so that means it will be c0 c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 so that is actually predicting the label so according to that the labels will be given as 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 these will be completely the six labels which would be given next if i want to print the centroid that what are the centroid mark of this image so for that let's see how can we do. so here you can see that i have written print k mean cluster centers and that i have stored in in c variable so here you can see that these all are the cluster centers which are there of the six cluster which we have created according to the image pixels which are there next if what i want to do i want to create the original image according to the labels according to the labels which i have given i want to create an original image so for that what i have to do is i have to define a function first so here you can see that i have created a function named def create image and here the parameters are c 
centroid labels label of the image with height and depth now firstly i have filled that image pixels with zeros np.0 is a function we studied when we are discussing about numpy array that zeros actually filled it with zero and label index is also zero next we have executed now for the label each pixel according to the limited label that means for i equals to in range w and j is for height so we have filled the labels how we have done that i will show you here that uh, this is the particular image okay and here now in this particular image firstly let's say in this array all the pixels have been here you know array are marked as zero let's say like this now actually these particular pixels which are there actually come under a cluster among all this c0 c1 c2 c3 c5 so let's say that this particular comes under c1 cluster so it, this will be annotated with c1 this comes under c2 cluster so this will be annotated with c2 this comes under c3 cluster so this comes under c3 so for that accordingly we will give the label index and how we will do that we will increment the index by one after the execution of the loop firstly it will execute for w then it will execute for h and then each increment will be done according to the image the label will be given so for that we have executed that particular function recreate image so this is the function which i have created and i have explained you the concept also that all the centroids are now been given all the particular pixels which are there are now been assigned to a centroid all the points which are there next what we are going to do we are going to plot the original image and then the compressed image so for that you can see here i have written plt dot figure one axis off and it will print the original image and lastly we have written the title will be original and we have written that img show dot original image and lastly it will be reduced image for that we have called the recreate image function and we have passed the parameters that is a centroid labels width height and depth of the image and as i execute this particular cell here you can see that this is the original image and this is the reduced image so this is all about image compression and no need to worry about we have the notes of this particular title of image compression in our original website also and the link of that will be provided to you in the video description all the code and the theory which i explained to you is given here this particular link of the website will be given to you in video description